The next blending mode in this category is Multiply. This blending mode multiplies the luminosity of the base color by the blend color. The resulting color is always a darker color. White produces no change while the black pixels remain. Multiply can produce many different levels of darkening depending on the luminosity values of the blend layer, which make it a great blending mode for darkening images or creating shadows. Let me show you an example to show the darkening capability of this blend mode. So we can just import an image, just go to file open. I just imported this image to Photoshop. Then, and it contains different colors. Of course, it's really bright. Then we can make a copy of that image by pressing Ctrl J and change the bottom layers blend mode to multiply. Look at that. It changed. It changed the brightness of the image. So a single blend mode can change the brightness of the image. It darkens the image or it increases the contrast of the pixels. That's multiply. So let's do it for the second layer also. That's multiply then make copies. It became more and more darker. Look at that. It became more and more darker. So if you go to back. So when we change into multiply, it will become like this. I think it is pretty good. So how it's happened, as I mentioned earlier, it multiplies the luminosity of the base color by the blend color. So here the base color and the blend color are same or the base image and blend image are same. So it darkens the image. Now it's looking pretty well. So let me show you another example. Create a new document, go to file, new, with a white color background, okay. Then select the rectangle tool, then make a rectangle that covers half of the uh, document, except half of the document, okay. Then paste a dark color, sorry it's a gradient, then paste a dark color okay choose this stroke value goes zero then we have two layer, layers right now that the background layer white color then this rectangle layer that with a dark color then we can blend that layers by pressing selecting this, that layers and pressing ctrl e to merge so we got a single layer so what we want to do next is we can make a copy of this layer by pressing ctrl j then change uh, top layer blend mode to multiply so look at that it changed to a bright color and the white remain constant there is no change in the white color then we can do for the bottom layer also multiply then make copy it became more darker it changed to black color let's do once again so this is pretty black color we can go up to maximum this level so that is multiply it darkens the bright pixels and we can utilize in some ways as i mentioned earlier as i shown earlier some photographs will be more attractive of just the uh, blend mode look at that this is the difference let me show you another example i just imported this image so i can import an image with a white color background let's go to file then place embora mm, okay then i'm just gonna place okay resize it then i'm just gonna place it over here on top these are a couple of birds flying on top oh, enter then we can change the blend mode to multiply look at that the white color vanished and the black color that's a bright color remain constant so we can see the birds we don't need to select that words and paste it over there this is an easy way and let me show you another uh, example if it doesn't work for example if the background is a little bit a uh, bright color then let me change the color okay then we can paste a color over there okay change it. i change it to this color 
then let me change the color to multiply so there is a bright color present that is not pretty white or transparent this is opaque so how to solve this it's really easy we can just go to levels then we can mask or we can clip these two layers because it's only supposed to affect this layer only so just go to the levels then we can decrease this look at that this vanish vanishes the white color vanished we can keep it over like this so this is another way to do that and let me show you another example i'm gonna import an image water effect so we can place something with white background that may be a text file okay so we can just crop this file i'm just gonna crop the text part only so it is with a white color background and black color text so we can just paste over here then we can resize it by pressing ctrl t align that then change the blind mode to multiply so it changes to it's changed like this it's transparent because this it was white color look at that in normal mode it the background is white color so the multiply will vanish all the white color or the light colors here the white color background became transparent and the black color remained constant in the previous example there is no change in the white color because the, the background was also white color but as i shown in the dark and blend mode the white will become transparent and it adopts the background color so that's happened here so we can utilize the effect or the multiply blend mode like this for making beautiful effects so this is an easy way to create some kind of posters then invitation letters you can do with your creativity let me show you another example i want to create a camera raw that is just a vignette in the corners of the image so how can i do that we can do it with the multiply blend mode easily so we can create a new blank layer then we can just go to the gradient tool and select it then we can select this one that's in the third preset with the black and white then we can click ok then uh, remember to keep this or select the radial gradient the white color will be in inside and the black color will be outside let me show you that actually this came because we reverse this effect make sure to check this reverse let me show you once again we can drag from the center to a corner so we created that then in the middle it comes to white color and the corners it's black color so we can change the blend mode to multiply so look at that it we got a vignette effect here we got a camera raw effect here so this is another use of this and we can utilize by this way also the multiply blend mode so we are winding up this section we did a lot of work with this simple blend mode i hope this is helpful we are moving to the next darken blend mode